Hi, I'm John Bailey, professional voiceover artist, and I don't do a ton of character work, but I have done some, and uh, I strive to get an animated character, especially a recurring role in an animated series would be awesome. There are more character voices than in just cartoons. There's character voices for commercials, there's character voices for motion comics, there's character voices for animated online webtoons. You know, there's, there's plenty of character work out there. So I want to focus on one of the fundamentals of doing a character voice, and that is pitch. There's several that are the, the basis for your character voice. A lot of people think characters mean existing characters, like SpongeBob SquarePants. Everybody knows who that is. But the reason why we know who SpongeBob SquarePants is and what he sounds like is because Tom Kenny, very talented individual, came up with that character voice in the first place. And that's why we imitate that voice, because we know that to be SpongeBob. But he had to come up with that out of his own head, just based on either a picture or a little tiny sentence or two description that is agent center. Doing character voices is not about doing impressions of other characters. A bad impression can be a good character voice, but it needs to be able to be the character that you came up with on your own that's better than everybody else's audition. They can either send you a short written description of what the character needs to sound like, or if you're lucky and completely blessed, then you will get a picture of the character and you will also get a reference, audio reference file or a video reference file with audio on it. Those are the ones you count your blessings. But imitating what you hear and creating something out of your own mind and throat and mouth is two totally different creatures. So I'm going to focus on pitch. Pitch is how high or how low the character speaks. So you can usually get that out of the voice description if they write... Uh, big, burly, male, 40s to 60s, low, deep, powerful voice. Those are all descriptions of a low voice. The pitch would be low. If you have any music theory training at all, this stuff really helps with you trying to figure out where your character's range is. If your character's range is, is shrill, sneaky, uh, back of the throat sounding nasally, those are all sounds for a higher pitch voice. You can kind of just decide or get an idea of the pitch and the range that your character speaks in based on the, what, the, what the description says. So if you get a, beat, a deep, ba a burly male villain, you know, you can always add in other things, but you need to build a foundation first, and one of the building blocks is pitch. So if you're going for a villain voice, let's say it's supposed to be a big, giant gangster guy. Well, before you worry about if he's from Brooklyn or New York or if he's from Australia or Ireland, worry about how low his voice sounds. Don't try to audition for a voice or try to do a character voice that's outside your range. If your voice doesn't go any lower than this and this is the lowest you can absolutely go, don't try to do really deep voices, okay? Because you're not going to be able to do it. There are the little tiny exceptions to the rule. Every once in a while, you'll see a character that has the description of this big, horrible, burly guy. And then he talks like Mike Tyson or something. You know, it, that's one of those what I call exceptions to the rule because... It's called a rug pull, because you're expecting this guy to be like, yeah, yeah, you want to fight me, you know, come on. But then he comes out and he sounds like, no, he's a little bitty tiny guy. That's, that's funny, you know. So uh, get, an, exist, an existing uh, example would be uh, Dr. Girlfriend from Venture Brothers. She looks like she'd had this smoldering, beautiful, sexy voice, and she sounds like an old Jewish lady that smokes too much. That, that's funny. It's a rug pull. Those are the, the exceptions to the rule. If you want to try that, if you're, the voice description isn't in your range, you may get lucky, you may make a producer laugh, and you may get the job, you never know. Worry about pitch before you add in the accent, before you add in whether it's raspy and, and the grating and grating in your voice or anything like that. Worry about is it low, is it low or is it high? Is it really high? Or is it kind of mid-range? Worry about the pitch. Try doing an octave on the piano. You can worry about, you can do falsetto, you can do high falsetto, and you can do low falsetto. And those are my tips. I hope you learned something this week. I'll give you some other tips next Monday. So stay tuned. Insert shameless ravage the insult comic blog right here, yes.